What's up, everyone? I've been trying to break up this channel into some different segments. We've got news with Nate. We've got web design with Nate. Another thing I want to do is kind of show you kind of a skill that I have or something I figured out, kind of go, you know, behind the scenes into a process I do. I don't know what we call this thing. For example, this video is going to be about how I do the typewriter effect. What's the best way to teach our customers? So I use iMovie. I use iMovie for everything. I have copies of things like Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro, but I choose to use iMovie. I like iMovie because of its constraints, because it's simpler. It makes me focus on not things like color grading and all these fancy tools and plugins that I can add into it, but it makes me focus on telling the best story I can with just some simple things like editing and sound and making the right cuts. But every now and then I want to get a little fancy and do something like a typewriter effect, and you can't do that directly in iMovie. So how do I do it? Keynote. So obviously this is a Mac only kind of video, but maybe this gives you a clue on how to do it on a Windows computer if you have some tools and you're using a simpler version of a, an editing tool for movies. If you want background color, choose whatever you want. Type in the text. This video is about, blow the font size of this thing up a lot. And then you click here, you go to animate you add an effect, and there is a typewriter effect here. That's it. Now the thing you want to do though is, I recorded myself saying, what's the best way to teach our customers? That took about 3.9 seconds. You can measure this in iMovie. So then go back to Keynote, and then type in 3.9 seconds. That's as simple as it really is. And then you click it over here to export this thing. You can export to QuickTime, 1080p, decent quality. You can go back in here to iMovie, import this thing. Now it's a little longer than the 3.9 seconds that you put in. Because they have a delay, you'll see how this plays out. I think you can maybe even tweak that in Keynote, but instead of figuring that out, I just like to kind of go in here and I'll just do it myself and then I'll pick the time I want to, you know, break it at. And this is just kind of a style thing that I do. One thing I do with this is I let the question hang a little bit longer than it takes to say it. Visually, it looks a little bit better. When you cut right after the, the audio is done, it just seems a little off. And so I just kind of let it hang there for like, half a second. And there's a version that I do now with kind of handwritten letters or like scribble letters. What does our customer want? that doesn't use this typewriter effect because it can't, but it, it kind of gives you the same kind of gist, but you have to do it in a little bit different way. So stay tuned for those videos. I hope you enjoy what we're doing on this channel and all the experiments. Please hit the thumbs up. Please share them with everyone you know. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I upload a new video every single day talking about business and doing this kind of stuff and just getting through life. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.